I'm going to start over. So let's introduce everybody because we're recording now. So Jane DeWeese, Jana. 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 Okay, Jana DeWeese at Lemon Street Brewing in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And Steve, still don't hear you yet. <laughs> Go to the, <clears throat> under the, on the lower left, there's a little microphone button and see if you can select a different microphone. That might be it. Well, anyway, if, until then, Steve, you just type in the chat, where's your brewery? And what we're discussing is now that we're open 50%, what now? What are we doing? You know, we don't know. Uh, I'm not a brewer owner it, myself. I just have a lot of friends who own them, and I, I, I'm a, a dedicated customer. <laughs> so We appreciate that. Uh, I do brew my own beer, but lately I've just been going to all my friends' places since they've got better beer. So, <laughs> the Castle Church is one of my favorite places to go. Uh, Bob's was one of my favorite. Bob DeWeese, your your long lost cousin. <laughs> okay, you're with Bev Builders. You build breweries. Okay. All right. But but so Bob's, I used to go there. He had. I'm also a cyclist. I don't know if you can tell what I have a thing up there. The gear. And, and Bob was a cyclist, and he made a special line of beer just for us, for, for uh, cycling. Uh, there were several different ones. There was an uh, involuntary dismount, which was a 10%. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a 10% uh, Hefeweizen, which was... 10% Hefe. Yeah, it was, it was really strong. Okay, you're in Bradenton. Okay, Steve. Yeah, it was it was a killer. I love a Hefeweizen. There's another one that was a nice American ale he did, which is really hoppy. And I'm trying to remember the name of it. It had a good, good cycling name. It's something like rehydration or something like that. But it, good, nice, crisp American hoppy ale. You know, it was almost like an IPA, really. But he used the American grain and. <clears throat> We, we consumed a lot of that, I guess. <laughs> we, we'd go there after our rides, you know, we'd, we'd ride around, we'd stop at his brewery, and then we'd only be, he was only a couple miles from the bike shop, so we'd have two or three beers, and then the ride back to the bike shop was always interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry he closed down, that was disappointing. But, so if you're open, and you have, so I want to hear more about that. So you've decided to keep the food and expand it. We are going to expand it, yeah. Um, Joe, the owner, is um, he's a big time foodie anyway, and so he's got great ideas. Um, and but but yeah, we want to we want to capitalize on that audience. You know, I love the idea of having food trucks because of variety. You're never bored. Um, but we could also do that too. We've got um, kind of like a, a a menu in mind. And it would be, it would change up pretty regularly too. I just have to figure out the best way to do it by not having too many ingredients all the time. So you're exactly. doing pizza right now and, and you're looking at salads, you said. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Cause I've got a, I have enough room to do salads. I just don't, yeah, I just don't want waste. <laughs> waste is money down the drain. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to look for you. Are, are, do you have a Facebook page? We do, yeah. Lemon Street Brewery. There it is. Lemon Street Brewing Company. Okay, Jacksonville. Okay, I'm going to like it because I want to. Great. I'm going to take a look at pictures. Oh, look at that dark beer. What is that? A porter? That is a bourbon barrel aged. Are you oh, on the front page? That that's a, a stout. Oh, is it? And we just released that that has been sitting in bourbon barrels for like mm, a bourbon barrel stout. Wow. It's unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. I, I'm a Buffalo Trace fan myself. So ah. <laughs> that is beautiful. Let's see what other pictures you got. Is it, who who's this uh that's our brewer, Carlos. I like the mustache, Carlos. <laughs> oh, and there it is, the bourbon aged stout. Huh? 
That's our owner, Joe. Those are, oh, I like that. Life gives you lemons when you make you beer. That's excellent. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. What those? Okay, here we go. Let's see. That is an old um, thing, but you yeah, get, that has some of it on there. We have name, several new ones. The name that catches me right away is the Boudreaux. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that's their dog's name. It's My not, spell, that's not how you spell Boudreaux, though. It's Budreau. Oh, Budreau, okay. Yeah. Not, not like Creole or French, but. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's not, it's, it's not a Cajun beer. No. <laughs> Dark Vlad, those are good. See, this is another thing I always love is the great names y'all come up with for your. <laughs> Buena Onda. Yeah, that's good. What does Onda mean? Uh, well, the translation to English is, um, I think it's like a, I think Joe said, he, Joe is a Puerto Rican, and I think he said it basically translates to like um, a good wave or something like that. Oh, yeah, onda for wave, okay. I know buena means good or also very pretty. Yeah, so. good wave or some good vibe. Maybe it's something like that that kind of, it doesn't translate exactly to English. What do you handles? Um, one of Joe's friends did them. Those didn't work out very well because they, when they were tight, they weren't straight. So they were always loose. Oh, yeah. So you so, have one that's, that's the bottom part screws yeah. on, and then you can turn yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, so we, we redid them. Nice picture. We have a digital board. I'm looking for a big picture of the inside of the brewery. I guess we know. I don't know why you can't see those. I have, oh, those are cover photos. Oh, look at, there you go. The albums and which, which ones? Uh, timeline? Yeah, do timeline. See if you can see anything good in there. No. Uh, I need to put more on here, I guess, don't I? Yes. Oh, here we go. That's the brew house, yeah. <clears throat> we are in a huge space. We have about 20,000 square feet. Wow, look at all the gear you've got. <laughs> what are those, are those all fermenters on the right? Yeah, there's, there's three on the right and then two smaller ones there on the left. And then the mash ton and everything is over further left. Try to save something, Steve. I don't know if you got your barrels from St. Augustine Distillery. No. Oh, I didn't see that. No, um, we actually got them from Japan. The whole the whole house was uh, a, from a Japanese company. It might be Stephen's mic. Okay. See, there's a good picture just of a nice place to sit down. So that's from the bar. Hi. That a lot of things have changed. You know where you could look too is um, on the stories. If you look on the stories, there's videos there. Story. Uh, click on the Lemon Street, the round Lemon Street tag. Yeah. Maybe. No. I, I'm not much of a story guy anyway. But. Oh, there's a that post right there that first post that has, let's see, video? there's videos in, in the stories part. Oh, it's not Steven, not him that's feeding back. Okay, which video should I look at? Um, those, those are mostly, well, I don't know. Those are mostly, um, oh, that's Budro. <laughs> right there in the middle. This one? That's Budro, yeah. That's where we named our beer from. It's my sister and my brother-in-law's dog. <laughs> oh, that was noisy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's fine. Okay, based on a dog. Okay, that's cool. 
right. Let's see. Well, that's really nice. You have a good Facebook page. I liked it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen, I can't hear you yet. So, have you, have you had it working before? Oh, okay. Well, you playing around with it. You might be able to figure it out. Oh, who's texting me here? So, how many... Uh, other breweries do you work with in Jacksonville, Gina? We have, um, we just passed 20. So we have 21, maybe 22 now. 21? Yeah, 21, maybe 22. Are they all FBG members, do you know? Yes, uh, I doubt all of them are, but many of them are. So we've got, um, we have Ard Wolf. In fact, Preben is on the board, or the guild, I think. Um, we have Intuition, Bold City. Those are for sure members. Oh, Liz um, at Legacy, Southern Swells. Yeah. If we could ask everybody in the guild one question how do you do this or what do we do this or what should we do with this what question would it be um or, or three or four of them do you have a fan on do i yeah no this is a hum whenever you talk oh i don't know why um my my biggest struggle is marketing so with low dollars going out, <laughs> what's the best way to reach people? And um, so far, we've been doing a really good job, uh, especially lately, with our Instagram. And um, and then also, I'm moving stuff over from Instagram to Facebook, so we're kind of tag teaming it. And um, so that's been better. But I was on the news the other morning, and I'm reaching out to every every um outlet i can think of to let people know what's going on just to let people know we're here even because we're out of the way we're in a the rail yard district so it's an old warehouse district so it's off the beaten path you know let me see if i can find you on instagram how do i search so lemon street it starts playing videos for me right away, which I don't want. I want to search. Lemon Street Bark Marketing, no. <laughs> Lemon Street Brewing, oh, it's all one word. There we go. Is that it with the out? Well, you can't see that. It's yeah, that's it. Where it. All right, I'm gonna follow you. Oh, you're followed by the Brewers Guild. I suppose I could have done that. Oh yes, these are good. Darth Vladimir. <laughs> I really love the glasses you have. Those are nice. Those uh, big glasses. I like those. Craftmaster Grands. I hope they don't turn off, you know, tip over. <laughs> we haven't lost that many, strangely. I mean, people steal them, but other than that. <laughs> so if you could ask people how to do marketing, okay. That's a good question. So we want to get more foot traffic. Are, are you in a place where there's a lot of foot traffic? No, we're off the beaten path. We're in a, a, the rail yard district, which is a warehouse district. So people don't even really know we're here. And so that's really what I'm trying to do. So if you could, uh, let's see. Well, your Instagram's working. Facebook probably helps. I mean, you did have a bunch of likes on there. I thought you were what over 500 likes on your page. So you got a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah. Lots of parking. We get great reviews. What'd you say? You have lots of parking? No, we, well, we don't 
have our a lot of our own, but you can park all along the street. Um, there's plenty of room there. Then there is a parking lot across the street that um, we they use, people use, but the owner really doesn't prefer that because it's an added liability for him, you know. Um, I'm gonna say that I've, I've seen some of the the local guys here will actually do an Instagram and a Facebook post saying, this is where you should park. Huh. Here's how to get to us. And by the way, here's where you should park. That's and, interesting. And for some reason, I, I gotta tell you, that makes a difference to me because I have tried to go to like a couple of the breweries downtown off of Ivanhoe, Ivanhoe Brewery, for example, and I've driven around and not been able to find a parking space. So I ended up not going there. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if I had known where there's, you know, secret customer parking was, I would have gone. Mm -hmm. And other people have told me that, that <clears throat> like the biggest problem I see when people start brewing, when they open up a brewery, the first one is they have no idea how popular they're going to be. And they're immediately swarmed. You know, their opening, their soft opening is a mob scene. Yeah. And all the beer's gone right away. <laughs> And somebody's going over to the liquor store, the ABC, and buying cases of whatever they can, you know. Oh, no. Bring over just so people can have a beer to drink. I've seen that happen, that they just don't understand how big it's going to be. Uh, like, like Tactical downtown, when he opened up, he ran out of beer. But it was, I mean, the guy can make, Doug can make great beer, Doug and his team. And they've got some of the, my biggest complaint with them is they'll say they've got this great new flavor. So I get down there and go, hey, I'd like to try the hour out of it. Oh. There's one he makes every Christmas. It's called Buddy the Elf. It's a, it's an ale that has kind of a mint, mint chocolate taste to it. It's a dark ale. Mm -hmm. I have wanted a Buddy the Elf for two years now. And I, I told him, you better stick a keg off to the side for when I come down there. So, you know, because I'll bring a bunch of people because I want to try one. And he says, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. You will. We'll get it for you. But, so those are the problems I see is that I'm not correctly judging how much beer they're going to need. Mm -hmm. Not correctly judging how much parking they're going to need. Uh, although that's kind of changed this year. But I assume that this is all going to end in about uh, 60 days. <laughs> 45 days, maybe. <laughs> So, uh, at least I'm, I'm hoping it does. So, it, you know, that's another thing. And also, some people don't realize, especially if they open with food, and they do really well at first, they start getting swamped. and then But then they start realizing that they're not just running a brewery, now they're running a restaurant. Oh, which that, that is something I never wanted to do. And it's but, a lot more work than it looks, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. I've been in the restaurant industry my whole adult life, really, on and off. And uh, I did not really want to do that. But but you got to do what you got to do. You got to adapt and overcome. And so we'll do it. We just need, a, we need um, to get to a certain point so we can get more help. Well, that's I'm hoping that people will come on here and share with you how they're dealing with some of the problems. That's one of the purposes of this call. And I am going to post a link to it. The YouTube, I'll put it on YouTube and I'll put the link on the forum. And hopefully people will, will watch it. And I'm sorry that you're the only one that made it in. There were some other people that were trying to, and Steve's obviously having a connection. Difficulty. I don't know if this is the same thing. I'd like to see, you know, 20 people on here every every other week we're gonna do this every other week and okay. start sharing solutions for all of us to succeed and to stay open now that we're open we want to stay open and you know get past this weird very weird year and hopefully return to what it was before I don't think you know nothing ever goes back to exactly the way it was but at least we can go to some level of sanity yeah. Well, yeah. So that's a good one. So marketing, mm -hmm. I would definitely be specific in your posts. Like if you could get a graphic artist to draw a map for you that shows how to get to your place and where to park, that wouldn't be a bad idea to post that every couple of weeks on Instagram. Hmm. 
I'll, I'll talk to Carlos about that. I, I know that there's the, one of the, I, I suggested that recently to one of the places over in Ybor City because they were off the main trail. And he says that he's noticed that, you know, people have come in and said, hey, thanks for the map. Made it, cool. easy, made it easier to find you. Are you part of any you know, Brewer's Trail or anything like that? Actually, I'm going to be getting one together. Um, we, we partner with Pedal Pub, but the first Saturday we were supposed to do it, it was like right after that, everybody shut down or right at the same time. It was in March. Yeah, yeah it was terrible. But, um, but I'm going to be putting a rail yard, um, like a rail trail together because there's several of us in the rail yard so my owner suggested that so i'm going to get that going that sounds cool yeah yeah i would that sounds you know you get to go around and visit all the businesses in one little area kind of like a little chamber of commerce sort of thing <laughs> also jacksonville has has an ale trail um visit jacks and so we finally just made it on that passport it was um it was for the longest time they they wouldn't put me on wouldn't put us on until they needed new passports of course so we just got on it like less than a month ago and we've been open a year and i know tabula rasa around the corner said that that was a game changer for them you know i got some ideas i can email them to you there's a bunch of stuff that people send in if you would put your email in the chat and i'll i'll send some things up to you because that is something that we hear a lot, is how do we get more people in the door? Obviously, that's the biggest challenge for anybody, especially if you're not uh, you know, on the beaten track. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to share those, and I'll put them in the forum too, but there's some like specifically for, the rail yard is kind of a cool place, if I remember. I'm just gonna- Yeah, and it's, th there are a few um, anchor companies that have been here a really long time but people are moving in. It's an area that we're trying to revitalize. So by by more breweries being here, it's gonna help. And um, everything that, the, that's another thing that kind of came to a halt was the rail yard. Um, what do you call it? Not a, not a society, but like the- Chamber. The what? Chamber. Kind of, yeah, basically that. That's kind of, Come to <laughs> yeah, it's whatever, whatever group gets together and decides what's best for the rail yard. <laughs> and me, I'm saying I'll send you some marking info. Give me a few days to sort through what, through what is that applicable. I'm sending you an email now so we're connected. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So. So marketing, what else? What would be the second question you'd want to know? Um, gosh, I don't know. I have lots of questions. I have um, my buddy over at Engine 15, Kara. I love that girl. She, she helps me with many things that I need help with. Everything that I and learning she's already done. <laughs> so, so she's very helpful. Get her on the call. I should, I should. Two weeks from now, bring her in. Okay. So <laughs> what, I forgot to ask you this. What is your position with the company? Are you the brewer? No, operations manager. Carlos is the brewer. Okay. Carlos is the brewer. And the owner is Joe, is that what you said? Joe Baez, yep. So Joe and Carlos and you are the, you're the, you're the head guys, what's in charge, right? Well, yeah, that's by title only. <laughs> Operations managers, that means you're basically running the place, right? They're, they're probably in the back brewing. Well, you're, you're, would you use the front of house, back of house thing? Uh, well, we are so small as far as um, how many people we have, but yeah, yeah, Carlos is back of house. And um, front of house. Yeah. And I'm front, yeah. So do you have any trouble getting good staff? Um, no, we don't because it's our 
family. It's the whole family, yeah. So um, Carlos is Joe's nephew. Okay. Joe is my brother-in-law. And um, so my sister works here, my niece works here, Carlos's wife helps, and my mom comes in. And so, and then there's another, another investor and he's uh, just a family friend and he comes in and helps too. So it's a family affair. How many people are in it? Um, it's ten or so working there. Huh? Th there's, we also have one of our friends just comes in and volunteers for us all the time, which is so nice. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's really nice. It gets a lot of beer, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so really, officially working here, including owners, is um, one, two, three, four, five, six of us. That's it. Okay. And we really do need more, but, you know, one thing at a time. I got you. <laughs> cool. So, and you, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, one thing I had heard the other guy saying is they don't have any problem finding people to, who want to get the job, but they do sometimes have trouble finding people who will be there like during peak times on Saturdays and Sundays, you know? Yeah, I could see that that would be a problem. Everybody that, wants to work Monday night. Do <laughs> what? Everybody wants to work Monday night. <laughs> Nobody wants yeah. to work Friday and Saturday nights. You know? do yeah, you, that, uh, that'll definitely be a stipulation. Do you have servers or are you just, just bartenders? Just, just bartending, yeah. So they serve oh. We'll walk out if we need to, but that's, really a other, that's a whole other layer. Once you start getting in, in yeah. HR, anyway, in my field, once we get wait staff, and then you get the tips being worked into the payroll, that that's a challenge. But we have a lot of experience with it, but I know that that looking at all that can be daunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We started with. Um, with more employees. So I did have a tipped staff, um, but then we realized that we, I think I've overshot it. And so we had to lay off pretty near the beginning. Um, but we'll get back. Gotcha. Okay, you have one minute left to tell what you wanna tell everybody who's gonna watch this video. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the spot. I don't really know. They come in and have a beer at Lemon Street. What else? Well, <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, I got another way for you to market. Do you have any veterans who work for you? No. Okay. Nobody's a vet like Joe or Carlos are veterans. Well, mm -mm. Because there's a veterans beer club group here in Orlando. And every month, well, we were, and we're good about to start up again, but every month we meet somewhere at a brewery preferably one that's owned by a veteran or at least has veterans working and then it's a it's a networking group but mm -hmm. we, we bring in let's say 75 to 100 people basically just close the place you know turn it into a big private party but you might want to talk to veterans groups around too because they do like to meet that's another good place it, you know look for special interest groups like that uh, yeah yeah that's some of the things this i have i have folders full of this stuff so I'm going to weed through and figure out what applies to you and send you what I can. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, we, we're, my, my service to the, you know, to the guild is I want to help you all survive and I want to help the guild grow and get more members. And I want it to be worth your, you know, whatever you're spending each year to be a member. So thank uh, you. That's why I'm here. And I don't get paid. I'm a volunteer. Appreciate your time then. <laughs> hire me for my services. I'm going to get paid, but, for this, this is free. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's about it. It's 11.30. It's Jana, right? Let me say it right. I said okay. Jana a couple of times because I know a girl named Jana, but she has two ends. You'd mm -hmm. think two ends would be Jana and one would be Jana, but I'm going to call you Jana from here on. Okay. I look forward to seeing you again in two weeks, and if I, I got a homework assignment for you. I want you to come up with this, the questions that you want to ask all the other brewers. We've already got marketing. Okay. Come up with some other questions you can ask them, and we'll put that out there for all of them, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.